Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under the standard types. Already we have completed two problems under type 1. So here we have the third problem. The question is solve 3p square minus 2q square is equal to 4pq. We observe that in this equation we have only p and q and x, y and z are not present explicitly. So therefore this equation is of the form f of p comma q is equal to 0. The first step is we have to write that. So let us write that first. So after this let us mark the given equation as equation 1. So this is equation 1. Next step is we have to assume the solution of equation 1 as z equal to ax plus by plus c. So let us write that. So let us mark this assumed solution as equation 2. Now when we differentiate this equation partially with respect to x and y, what we get is dou z by dou x will be equal to a. So because when partially differentiated these two terms become 0 and the differentiation of x is 1 and the constant a appears here. And dou z by dou y will be equal to b in a similar manner. But we know that dou z by dou x is p and dou z by dou y is q. So we can write that p is equal to a and q is equal to b. And let us mark this as equation 3. So all these steps are same for this kind of problem till here. After this, we have to take and substitute the value of P and Q as A and B in equation 1. That is substituting equation 3 in equation 1, what we get is. So in equation 1, at the place of P, we are going to put A. So we will be getting 3A square minus 2 b square because at the place of q we have to replace it by b so 2 b square is equal to 4 p q so 4 a b so this is the equation that we have obtained after substituting equation 3 in equation 1 now from this equation we have to solve for b let us bring this 4 a b to the left and we since we have to solve for b we see that we have b square over here and so this can be written as a quadratic equation in B. So it will be, so if I write this term first, so it will be minus 2B square. And then when I bring this to the left, it will be minus 4AB. And this term plus 3A square is equal to 0. Ruling out the negative sign throughout, that is multiplying by minus throughout, what we get is 2B square plus 4ab plus 3a square is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic in B where the value of a in the quadratic is this and the coefficient of b will be 4a and the constant will be 3a square. Now using this we have to apply in the formula. So therefore b will be equal to minus coefficient of b which is 4a plus or minus square root of coefficient of b square so that will be 4a square minus 4 multiplied with coefficient of b square which is 2 and the constant term 3a square divided by 2 multiplied with the coefficient of b square which is 2 and on simplifying this further, what we get is the value of b will be minus 4a plus or minus square root of and uh, this can be uh, written as 16a square minus 4 2 times is 8 and 8 3 times is 24. So 24a square. And... And one more thing students, when we have multiplied with a negative sign, this term will be negative 3a square. And so we will be having minus 3 over here. Because uh, when we change the sign for these two terms, the sign of this uh, term will also change. So plus will become minus. So kindly make that correction. 
So this is minus 3a square and so we have got a negative sign over here and minus into minus will become plus. The whole divided by 2, 2 times is 4. So further on simplifying this will be equal to negative 4a plus or minus square root of 16 plus 24 which is 40. So 40a square the whole divided by 4. And so this can be written as negative 4a plus or minus 40 can be written as 4 multiplied by 10. Square root of 4 will be 2. So 2 square root of 10 and then a square when taken out of the square root it can be written as a divided by 4. Now uh, further uh, simplifying this we can write it as a can be taken common outside and this can be separated so minus 4 by 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 10 divided by 4 and so this will be equal to a multiplied with this 4 and 4 gets cancelled and so you have negative 1 over here plus or minus this is 2 2 times so, so square root of 10 divided by 2 so this is the value of b that we have obtained so this is the value of b which has to be taken and substituted in equation 2 and so let us mark this as equation 4 so we have uh, obtained the value of b now this value of b has to be substituted in equation 2 so let us do that. What is equation 2? Equation 2 is z equal to ax plus by plus c. So if we substitute the value of b that is equation 4 which we have obtained in this equation we will get the complete solution. So after substitution this is what we get. So instead of b we have substituted a multiplied with this. So this can be marked as equation 5 and this equation 5 gives us the complete solution. We also know, na, know that there is no singular integral for the problems of the type f of p, comma q. So that we have to write. Now in order to find the general integral, we have to put c is equals to f of a in equation 5. So put c is equal to f of a in equation 5. So if we do so, what we obtain is z is equal to ax plus a y multiplied with negative 1 plus or minus square root of 10 by 2 plus f of a. Mark this as equation, I mean a, mark this as equation 6. So after this we have to differentiate equation 6 partially with respect to a. So when we differentiate partially with respect to a, we get dou z by dou a is equal to, here we have a x x will be treated as constant so on differentiation we will get one, uh, a, a will be uh, differentiation of a will be 1 and x will is in multiplication so it will come as it is plus now again here on differentiation the differentiation of a is 1 because we are doing the differentiation with respect to a itself and all this will remain as a constant which will come as it is so y multiplied with minus 1 plus or minus square root of 10 by 2 plus f dash of a next step is we have to put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0 so we what we obtain is x plus y multiplied with minus 1 plus or minus square root of 10 by 2 plus f dash of a is equal to 0 mark this as equation 7 now on eliminating the constant a from equation 6 and equation 7 we obtain the general integral so i have written that here on eliminating a between equation 6 and equation 7 we obtain the general integral so hope you have understood how to solve problems under the type f of p comma q i will uh, show you a few more problems in the same video lecture which is already solved for you just go through it so here we have problem 4 where, we, where they are asking us to solve pq is equal to 1. So the same way the problem has to be solved. First we have to write that the equation is of this form and then assume z equal to ax plus by plus c as its solution 
and then p is equal to a and q is equal to b is what we get then substitute these two in equation 1 so that we get a b equal to 1 from which we obtain the value of b to be equal to 1 by a now substitute equation 4 in equation 2 and finally we obtain that is we will be substituting b equal to 1 by a over here and we obtain equation 5 which will give us the complete integral and we know that there is no singular integral following which the general integral is obtained in the same way how we did for the previous problem that is we have put c equal to f of a in equation 5 and uh, so we obtain equation 6 and differentiating it and then equating it to 0 we get, and eliminating a between equation 6 and 7 we get the general solution the method i have since i have explained already i am just showing you how to do this problem in a similar way we can solve problems under this topic we have uh, some more problems for more practice that is here we have problem 5 again it involves the same steps that is p equal to q square is the given one which is marked as equation 1 it involves the same steps till equation 3 and after equation 3 we have to substitute p equal to a and q equal to b so we get a equal to b square and from this we get the value of b to be equal to plus or minus square root of a taking this and substituting in equation 2 we get the complete integral and there is no singular integral and in the same procedure we are obtaining the general integral for this problem as well and then we have problem 6 which is uh, pq plus p plus q equal to 0 which is marked as equation 1 and it is solved in this manner i will just tell you the important steps which is not repetitive that is a b plus a plus b after substituting a and b in this equation we get this now in this uh, from this term and this term b can be taken in common so a plus b plus a equal to 0 now taking this a to the other side you get negative a and b will be equal to negative a divided by a plus 1 which is marked as equation 4 remaining all the steps remains the same that is 4 we have to take and substitute in equation 2 and then after that we get equation 5 which will give us the complete solution there is no singular integral and the general integral is obtained in the same manner how we did previously here we have problem 7 i have not written the other steps kindly include those steps i have just given the important things that you have to remember here so this is this, this is equation 1 and then we have to write equation 2 and please kindly include the usual method that we do that is we will first write this is of the form and then assuming the solution and then differentiating so you have to show all those steps uh, for time being I'm, i have just written this for your just quick understanding so p equal to a and q equal to b taking and substituting we get square root of a plus square root of b equal to 1 from which we obtain the value of square root of b to be equal to 1 minus square root of a squaring on both the sides b will be equal to 1 minus root a the whole square which will be marked as equation 1 and equation 1 in four, equation 4 and equation 4 will be substituted in equation 2 in order to get equation 5 and this, this will give us the complete integral and there is no singular integral and the general integral is obtained as usual that we uh, we have seen in our previous problems so here we have problem 8 so it is also done in the same way so quickly i will just show you p equal to and uh, q equal to b in this equation one we have to put and we have we have got a quadratic in b and so we are using the quadratic formula and we have obtained the value of b to be equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 17 minus 4a divided by 2 and so finally we get this as the complete solution and remaining the, the other procedure remains the same there is no singular integral and the general integral is found by putting c equal to f of a in equation 5 and then differentiating it and equating it to 0 and eliminating a between equation 6 and 7 we will get the general solution so kindly finish the following steps and here we have some practice problems so kindly finish problem number 9 10 11 and 12 uh, practice them and uh, i hope you will be thorough with this topic so hope you have understood all the lectures under standard type 1 of the non-linear partial differential equation in our next video we will learn about standard type 2 of the non-linear partial differential equation thank you